The year 2020 has certainly experienced its fair share of world-shifting events. Here's a list of the major space events that have happened in 2020. While many space sector firms seem to be able to cope with the current COVID-19 crisis, a significant number is struggling, particularly small and medium-sized enterprises that generally constitute the bulk of commercial actors in the space industry. Considering the high costs of entry to the sector, there is a risk that the crisis could lead to more industry concentration, removing smaller and younger firms that are key sources of innovation, employment, and economic growth. Universities, space agencies, and ongoing projects adapted to the new reality as countries took measures to prevent the spread of the virus. Classrooms turned virtual and astronomical conferences changed format. Agencies like NASA limited how many of its employees work on site, moving most of its workforce to remote working. A lot of projects were canceled and missions got delayed. Last year, the U.S. National Science Foundation, NSF, bid farewell to the iconic Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico after the telescope's 900-ton instrument platform fell onto a reflector dish some 450 feet, 137 meters below. The Arecibo Observatory Telescope, a key scientific resource for radio astronomers for 57 years, was one of the largest in the world. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission to asteroid Bennu successfully stowed away pieces of the space rock to bring to Earth. Shortly after, samples of asteroid Ryugu collected by JAXA's Hayabusa 2 mission reached Japanese scientists. China's Chenggu 5 mission also performed a sampling rendezvous with the moon in late 2020. The Chinese Yutu-2 rover from China's Chang'e 4 mission discovered a gel-like substance in July 2019 in a small crater on the far side of the moon last year. Chinese scientists published an analysis of the strange substance. It turned out the gel-like material was, well, melted bits of moon rock, likely melted in the heat of a meteorite impact to form a dark green, glossy, glassy mass. The discovery of phosphine in the clouds around Venus in September left the world wondering what could explain its presence. Phosphine might even mean life. This compound has been found near microbes on Earth and some people argued it could be a biosignature. In February 2020, the NASA ESA Solar Orbiter spacecraft launched into space. The Solar Orbiter mission is designed to study the sun up close to understand the bubble that wraps around the solar system. But in the morning of December 27th, the probe met Venus as well. And if you're flying a spacecraft past a planet anyway, you may as well try to get a little data out of the adventure. Last year, Native Hawaiians called Kiai, or protectors, continued their protests against the construction of the 160-foot tall, 49 meters, 30-meter telescope, TMT. Mauna Kea, they argue, is a sacred religious site to Native Hawaiians, and TMT would be a massive new addition to the summit, which is already populated by about a dozen astronomical observatories. After 16 years, NASA said goodbye to one of its great space observatories, the Spitzer Space Telescope. The space agency downloaded the last bits of data and then put the spacecraft into hibernation. Spitzer forever changed how we see the cosmos while helping us make all sorts of discoveries, including distant galaxies, newborn stars, and even exoplanets orbiting other stars. 
Team members think the spacecraft will eventually break apart in a debris field. Comet Neowise was discovered in March 2020 by NASA's Neowise mission and astonished people around the world. It was closest to Earth on July 23rd, passing some 64 million miles, 103 million kilometers from our planet. Many observers have reported that once you spot it with binoculars, you can remove them and glimpse this comet as a fuzzy object using only the unaided eye. Comet Neowise won't be back for another 6,800 years. Skywatchers were in for an end of year treat, the great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter on December 21st, which was also the date of the Northern Hemisphere's winter solstice. It's been nearly 400 years since the planets passed this close to each other in the sky, and nearly 800 years since the alignment of Saturn and Jupiter occurred at night, as it did for 2020, allowing nearly everyone around the world to witness this great conjunction.